What's up everyone? This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while. When I first became a shop owner, I knew how to make parts, but I didn't exactly know where to begin with the quoting process. One thing that I think would have really helped me would have been to have another machine shop owner go over exactly how to quote a job. Not just that, but even go one step further and actually make the part. One thing that makes it a bit challenging is pretty much everything we do at our shop has privacy restrictions. So I can't really film anything that is actively running in our shop right now. So what I thought would be pretty awesome is to utilize the Titans of CNC Academy, find a part, treat it just like a real job, quote it, machine it, inspect it, then go back and analyze did we make money on this job or not. The part that I picked out is the Titan 78M. I picked this part out because I, I just think it's a cool part. I haven't seen anybody else do it yet and ultimately I'm motivated by Cool parts. I'm motivated by the machining. Step one, is the part a good fit for your shop and do you want to do it or not? Make sure that you take jobs that you're motivated by. It doesn't have to be just the money that you're motivated by. I love machining. I love making the parts. Ultimately, if you're motivated by it, then you're going to perform better on it and the money will just come naturally. I don't know what the fuck that thing was. Part of step one also is how are you gonna process it? How are you gonna make it? So talking about this part specifically, what I've decided to do is start off with a prep operation. So I'm gonna leave a little bit on this face here, probably about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to machine a boss that sticks up about an inch and a half and two inches in diameter. And then I'm gonna grip by that boss and I'm going to machine this side with all of the flats, the counter bores, the o-ring grooves, the holes. I'm going to machine the bore. Then I'm going to make a fixture that this side will bolt to. There will be quarter 20 holes going around the face along with a face groove. I'm going to make a fixture for my operation 3 that will attach to that, bolt into those holes. Nothing super fancy, nothing super special. I'll make it clock to probably one of the minor diameters, maybe two, and the inner diameter bore is what will align the part in X and Y. Then I'll hold it by that and I'll machine the gear side, the holes, take it to the right overall length, and finish the part. After you've processed the part, you figured out how you're going to make it, now it's time to delegate some of the things that might take a little while to get back to you. Now that I have the process of the part, I'm going to figure out the stock size. After I have that stock size, I'm going to send that to all of my different suppliers and get them working on quotes on how much the material is going to cost. If there's any outside processing like anodize, get those processes out and get those quotes in the works. If there's any internal processing, such as laser mark or stamping, that's also the time that I would figure out roughly how long is that going to take and how much is that going to cost. So the next thing is components. If your part is required to have helicoils installed or dowel pins or any components that need to be added onto the part, get these quoted. So for this part, the material is $217. I'm going to put a 15% markup on that material. This because we're going to be doing a receiving inspection on it. You have that upfront cost for the material. You also did the leg work on getting the quotes and figuring out what the size was. So don't be afraid to mark up the material a little bit. After those are being worked on, I like to figure out my NRE, non-recurring engineering. This is your things like programming, 
fixturing, tooling. And for this part, we are gonna be making a fixture and I'm gonna say that it's gonna take me six hours to program and three hours to make the fixture. Now's where you start laying out your operations for the process that you came up with. For this part, I'm gonna say that the operation one, which is putting the spud on the back side that I'll be holding on to, I'm gonna say that that's gonna take me an hour and a half to set up and 20 minutes to run. The next operation is going to be the machining of this side here the bore, the flats, the counter bores. I'm gonna say that that's gonna take me six hours to set up and two and a half hours to run. In the setup charge, I also like to factor in working in threads, tight tolerances such as bores, pinholes, O-ring grooves, anything that you think is gonna take you a while to work in a tight dimension, factor that into your setup time because the next time you go to do this job, you're still going to have to work those critical dimensions in. But you don't want to factor that into your cycle time because after those are worked in, then you're going to be able to just run all your parts through. You still have to inspect them and you might have to make some tweaks, but ultimately you should be able to run them through. Operation three, I'll be holding on to the fixture and machining the gear side and the threaded holes and the o-ring groove and finishing the bore i'm going to say that that's going to take me two hours to set it up and one hour of cycle time next is cleaning and deburring it fortunately with this part i'm going to be able to deburr pretty much everything inside of the machine with a chamfer tool but i do think it's going to take me about 15 minutes to thoroughly clean it make sure that there's no chips in the threaded holes and just make sure it's perfectly ready to ship. For that, I'm gonna say 15 minutes. I'm also gonna price this at a little bit lower of a shop rate. The standard shop rate being 120, we're gonna factor this at $50 an hour. This because anybody in the shop can do it. At our shop, everybody's pretty flexible and jumps in and cleans parts when necessary. So since it's something that anybody can do, we bring the shop rate down for that. Next is inspection. So this part's gonna be set up on the CMM. We're gonna hold it to a profile tolerance of 10 thousandths, which is kind of like plus or minus five on the whole part. And I am gonna make it a little more challenging for myself and say that the front bore and the bores around the outside have to be held to plus or minus one. I'm gonna say that it's gonna take RQC Lab three hours to set this part up and one hour to actually run and inspect the whole thing. I put a little bit of extra time in setup because inspection reports are gonna have to be created, documentation is a whole thing. So I'm building in a little bit of extra time for those reasons. Next, I would typically factor in shipping, but we're not gonna ship this part. We're gonna leave this up front so when customers walk in our door, they can see the kind of cool stuff that we can do. Now that we've really covered everything, um, that brings us to the total. So this part, the NRE, would be $1,080. What we found with our customers is they like this to be broken out onto its own line item. So they can see that, well, for this one time, it's going to cost this much to get these parts into production. But the next time, they can see their price per part. So my total accumulated setup time is 12 and a half hours, so $1,500. The total run time is going to be five hours. So from taking a giant block of aluminum and turning it into a finished part, one of these, is should only take five hours after the part's been set up, after it's been programmed, after everything. From start to finish, we should be able to make this part in five hours. And then tack on the material at the end, $250, gives us a grand total of $3,422.50 just to make one of these. Now, every part after that first part, you would remove the NRE, take out the setup time. The only things that should be factored is your cycle time and your material cost. Now, other things too, like if the parts are being anodized, that would be factored in. If the parts need any kind of all the outside processing all of that stuff would be factored in so every part after our first one of these 
would be $842.50. So we figured it out. Let's go make it and see how we do.